four decades, if things get a little tough around Tucson, only two words are necessary. Bear down. And that's what the Arizona Wildcats hope to do in front of their homestanding fans today. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Colorado Buffaloes taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Arizona will put it away to start this one. On the move from inside is five. And the returner is stopped. So Colorado's return team didn't help matters out much there. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry-up. To the air, it's Sanders. He lobs one high down the left side. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Well, it looked like that might be the first touchdown of the game, but what a great job by the defender, seeing the football and swatting it away. Couldn't get anything done on first down. Now second and 10 from the 46. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Finds his man. It's Hayden. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. The offense in hurry up mode. He wants to throw it again. Makes the grab down the middle. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Defense holds their ground, pick up of a yard. It's at the 26. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tip run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically make the challenge. The seventh play of this opening drive, they'll need to move the chains on third and short. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Splits the upright, it's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0 here. 
I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved, but still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Wildcats offense will get the ball for the first time. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him, hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Trying play action. What a job to lay out and make the catch. You know this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Trying to get to it. And the quarterback couldn't withstand the heat, and he will go down as we played one quarter. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. He'll pull it on the read. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, up and up and up. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Offenses know and work on it all week. Third downs, third downs. We got to be really, really good. This offense not good on this third down. It could come back to bite them. Arizona runs out the punt team. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. He's got great speed. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Running back searching for a hole. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. And the Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Hart. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. And still a little ground to cover and pick up the first. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. 
throwing right. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Buffaloes will call on their punt team. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Here's the handoff. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. Then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. A great job in the base defense making a play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Back to throw, it's Fafita. Getting some heat. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Wildcats will have to send out the punt team. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Makes a move. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Unloads to the wideout. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Zone equals eyes. When I say that, DBs, linebackers, all covering the middle of the field. So many guys over the middle of the field trying to take away the easy stuff. But reading the quarterback's eyes the whole time. Whenever he breaks to throw that football and that hand separates from the ball, I'm breaking on it. You can tell. They had a beat on it. Nice cut. Nice instincts. Give me that INT. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's going to pass. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. Right back to the air on second and ten. He's got it inside the 30. Touchdown, Arizona. What a catch and run for six. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Dropping back, it's Sanders. They're bringing heat. 
And that'll be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter on first down, but second down's coming up. And guys, if I'm on offense, I am staying aggressive. I know you didn't connect there, but make sure you keep testing this defense because even if you complete one of those throws, that could be the game-breaking play. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Hayden. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you gotta find a guy that you can throw to, and you know he's gonna catch the ball consistently. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down, and more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game, so you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him, he'll make those. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. And they can't make the connection. The deep thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. He's looking downfield to throw. Feeling some heat. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's McMillan. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium to take a deep breath and digest what we just saw. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Arizona Stadium. And the Buffaloes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead. You're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs to help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right. That pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football. Get him on the ground after a four yard run out to the 31. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, 
they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. On third and short, just trying to get enough for the first down. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one. Play. And the Wildcats will line it up on first and ten. Use the play fake now to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. They'll go back to work after the incompletion. Here's second and ten from the 36. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Makes the stop at the 49, but not before he gets in plus territory, gets 15 and a first down. In halftime in this locker room, there's a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. Wide receiver coming across in motion. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming out of the And listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double-team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. To the ground to try to move the chains. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you've set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive alive. This offense gets into plus territory. They're going to go for it regardless of their field goal kicker's range. Fires to the wideout. Incomplete pass, and the defense comes up big, and they take over. On first down, here comes this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Well, it's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. That's the end of the quarter, and Arizona has the lead here. They've built a cushion. They've got a nice lead. Now the task is finish the deal as you take a look at the third quarter stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Let's see what they've got on second down. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. Let's it fly! Grabs it up the 25-inch stride. Touchdown, Colorado! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with a QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Set to kick this one away. 
And here's the return. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Might as well give it to him again. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. But whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. Looking downfield, it's Fafita. Fires the pass. Intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And that just kind of caps off this day. It's been a day with not a lot of rhythm, not a lot of timing, not a lot of guys on the same page, and they weren't right there, and the quarterback throws an INT, and this one is not looking good. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, and something can start to build. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. The Buffaloes get it past the sticks. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They've got it inside the 30 at the 28. First down. Trying to move them on the counter. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. Gonna run it. It's Hayden. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back Timeout. and save as much time as possible. And the Buffaloes with the first and ten. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They go to the ground. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you've got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth, it's keep that clock running, it's ground game. So interesting now in this third down what they do next, but we got to keep that clock moving. 
to the air. It's Sanders. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And with that incompletion, it now sets up a very interesting decision for the head coach, right? You've got a narrow lead. You kick the field goal now, you force the opponent to have to at least score a touchdown to retake the lead. But you can also seize a lot of momentum if you get it here on fourth and short. If you're able to score a touchdown, this is a completely different game. The official says no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. All right, there's still life in the opponent because this team just had a chance to pad their lead with that field goal try. They knock it off the post, and we've still got a good ball game. Arizona has it back the offense, coming out to bear down. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. What a great play by the defense. In a play like that, in this situation of the game, late, it's close, third down, you gotta have it. And how about the pass rush? How about the effort getting to the quarterback? He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. They got him. The pressure got home, and the defense makes sure this drive comes up empty. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. 